Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Friday the 17th of November. In this video, we're going to finish the week by looking at the sentiment and money flows in the asset classes globally. What we'll see is a bit of a mixed picture, really. Um, interest rates um, around uh, the globe have uh, edged uh, slightly down over the week. The dollar's been weak against the major currencies, but has been very strong against the Asian currencies, for instance. Commodities are a, have been a mixed bag as well. And on the indices, we've seen perhaps the first inclination of a consolidation coming into the US indices and a bit of a fall in the European markets. Let's look at those charts. So starting looking at the yields around the globe, this is the 30 year US yield and you can see that it's pulled back um, over the week slightly down, um, actually marginally unchanged. Um, we're below the moving averages, um, 20 and 200 moving down, 50 still moving up. It's difficult to say at this juncture which is the most dominant. Uh, we do seem to be trying to create some kind of downtrend. Uh, so it'll be interesting next week if the 2.76 level is breached to the downside. Momentum is slightly negative in a downtrend on the RSI with the present level 46.77 and the short term MACD just gone below zero as well. Uh, German yield, very similar story. That's still below them. That's gone back below the moving averages. Uh, the 200 is rolling down now and should push the yield lower. Um, the 2050 are moving sideways. They will start to roll down over the next week. Uh, momentum virtually neutral. RSI just marginally below 50, 45, spot 85. And in the UK, um, here we've actually had a slight rise. Um, seems to be rising with the 50-day moving average. So keep your eye on that. Um, it could be a flag formation. Um, obviously, after the, the, the big rally that happened in September, any flag is sideways before the next move up. So uh, keep, your, keep your eye on that and keep your eye on the momentum which is presently on the RSI 51 spot 53, but we're seeing the MACD move down. So a bit of a mixed signal coming there. The 50 day seen all important 1.2982. On the equity markets, you can see that we've had a consolidation on the uh, Dow Jones. Uh, it's gone sideways, now, now found in support at the 20-day moving average. Um, did have one big down day Wednesday, but had a good day yesterday. Today looks like it's going to open mixed. But with that consolidation, we are losing the upside momentum. You can see the RSI is now drifting down, still above 50, so still positive momentum. Likewise, the MACD are tracking down, but are above zero. Overall, I would suggest maintaining any bullish positions uh, whilst we stay uh, with the moving averages and just see how it goes. But be prepared if that momentum does increase to the downside to, uh, to worry about it if the trend is broken. Uh, I would say at the moment, um, a halfway move towards the 50, maybe below 23 200 23 175 would be a concern and especially a move down to that 50 day 22 958 would be a major concern in europe we have had a consolidation you can see the dax here has pulled right back to its 50 day uh, it's quite important that holds uh, because we have got negative momentum um, if that doesn't hold, I would expect further downside towards the 200 day at 12.462. And on the FTSE, again, um, it's underperforming. Um, I did a video on it earlier in the week. Um, you can see this downtrend line um, 
which I left on there and that's now a resistance line and you can see that the 50 days rolling very important that this 200 day does hold in the short term because we do have negative momentum um, any bounce will see resistance um, at that um, downtrend line 7459 and then at the 20 day 7475 moving on to currencies uh, this is the overall dollar index um, you can see that it broke to the downside and on Wednesday the low was below the previous low so that's broken the uptrend we're presently finding support from the 50 day moving average uh, that's at 93 spot just a 93.5 so be aware that's a key level a fall below there and with the momentum being negative could see further force to the next support seen down at uh, around about 92 spot 7 um, on the euro against the dollar you can see euro strength that's taking it back above the moving averages uh, we also broke the, the downtrend that's been in place so that picture's improved for the medium term that 50 day will now start to turn and in a few um, few weeks it will be very interesting if that's turned when the 20 crosses it momentum strong for the euro rsi 58.69 on the pound uh, not quite as straightforward obviously the pound's got its own concerns with brexit um, but it has shown modest um, uh, increase against the dollar here we've got the uh, this flat line in 50 days resistance 132.54 with that yellow 20 day needing to move to give support it is moving down a move down below there 138.67 would be a concern Momentum is neutral, RSI 51.16. And quickly, euro against the pound. Um, euro finding resistance um, up at the 0.9 level and pulling back. Um, it will find support at the 20, which is 88.64. Um, momentum just actually marginally positive, 55.37. Uh, it looks like the... Uh, sideways move or a flag maybe could continue and just quickly looking at the Aussie dollar um, I've done videos this week Aussie dollar Japanese yen and New Zealand dollar US dollar if you have a look at those you'll see that um, there's weakness over uh, in the Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar and um, slightly overextended I'd say at the moment and becoming uh, oversold uh, but very severe negative momentum for those markets. And finally, moving on to commodities, uh, the oil has came off earlier in the week, did bounce yesterday, but will be bouncing into resistance now. So is that an interesting level? It was good that the 20 day held, um, but be aware this could be a flag and could continue further. Um, on gold um, expect the uh, pincer movement between the 50 and the 200 day uh, moving averages to continue uh, momentum is um, just neutral marginally above 50 52 and finally just looking at palladium which was one of the commodities that looked bullish on the videos last week it has held on its 20 day um, which is important um, stay with it for now but just keep your eye on that 20 day and keep your eye on that momentum with the RSI 56.85 at the moment if that declines below 50 and we also get a, um, a move below that 20 day <coughs> that could become a concern many thanks for watching this video on sentiment and money flows i hope you found it of interest i do go through the uh, asset classes very quickly but hopefully you, you get an overall view of, of what's been happening this week thanks for watching please remember these videos that i do on youtube are for information only and they're not an investment recommendation i'll be back uh, not next week the week after thank you